Hi guys and welcome back to another plan with me video. I just uploaded the November mystery kits unboxing so if you guys have not checked that out. So this plan with me is my birthday week plan with me and I've decided to do a mashup of two kits that I purchased through Etsy. The first one's from Paper Crown and the second one's from Basil and Mint. From Paper Crown, I did purchase a full kit, whereas from Basil and Mint, I just purchased her full box and half boxes. I'll be planning for the week of October 10th to October 16th. Let's get started! Just want to let you guys know that the kit that I'm using is actually for the Erin Condren Vertical so I will have to pull some washi out to convert it into the Happy Planner. So these are the washi that I decide to use for this kit. I think it goes very well and I am super excited to get started. Here I'm just seeing which one I want to use for the bottom washi. So I usually first start off with the Ombre Heart check boxes. As you can see, it is shorter. Erin Condren stickers are shorter, but it doesn't matter because we will convert it using washi tapes. Next we'll be adding the to-do headers. I was thinking for the weekend boxes to put in these full boxes because I want to put down the full boxes before I lay down the bottom washi so I'm just picking out what matches. The reason why I put the ombre heart check boxes on Sunday is actually my to-do list for next week so if I haven't accomplished anything this week I will write it down onto that checkbox there so that I can look back next week to see what I need to do um, however the kit doesn't come with a uh, next week so I'm just going to use the reminder headers instead the kit doesn't come with a uh, blank washi so I just use a regular washi to cover that up and with this bottom washi it is transparent so I will have to cover it up with a label Because I am using an Erin Condren kit, I do need to cover the extra space with some washi. So here I am just debating which washi to use. I decided to use the silver foil washi instead of the gold because I felt that it was too much gold so far. Before laying down the full boxes, I decided to put the top washi down because I want my full box to sit on top of the washies. So with the full box section, I decided to do alternating colors and kits, as you can see. So it will be a pink and then next it will be a muted color, either a gray or a beige. And now because there's this gap in between the section from the top headers or from the mid headers, I've decided to use the bottom washi that came with the kit, cut it into a size and place it on where there was that gap. And before I forget, I'm going to add my meal plan stickers. And the kit does come with meal plan stickers. The kit does come with date covers, but because it, the date cover is only made for the Erin Condren, it's a little bit short for the Happy Planner date cover. So here I am just measuring out and I might have to cover the backing with some washi. Even though the washi is transparent, I didn't need to put a label underneath to block out the date ink because the date cover is going to cover that. So there's no need for me to block out the ink. However, for below the date covers, the dates of the week do show. So I will have to put the washi on my labels and use the label to cover the dates.
And now I just add the dig covers on top. I'm not worried about the morning headers because it will be covered by half boxes. And now for the todays. Because I wanted this to be a no white space spread, the half boxes on basil and mint kits are rounded corners. <laughs> So I will have to get the washies from Paper Crown Kit to cover the rounded parts so the white doesn't show up. Monday we'll be traveling actually from our in-laws back home, so it's road trip home. I'm going to indicate that with a once more with love munchkin car. And always Monday night's bath night for the kids. So once our little mini long weekend's done, I know I have to get back into the cutting of our mystery kits. We also have to fill our fridge with food and my little one has karate that day too. Before the long weekend, we bought some furnitures from Ikea, so we're expecting a delivery that day. Also, it's going to be cutting day for me too for the November mystery kits and laundry. And Thursday is my birthday, so I decided to fill that whole box up with this full box plus washi and just decorate this box with um, a once more with love sticker sheet that I got. It's her birthday theme sticker sheet, so I'm just going to fill it all up with that. <laughs> Because it's a mashup of two kits, I do have extra full boxes, so I'm going to utilize that for my weekend. And Friday, I'm going to start packaging the November mystery kit and also film my next week plan with me. And before I forget, I have to edit, upload, and film the November mystery kit unboxing and the plan with me. Now on to the weekend. So weekend, usually Saturday, we do a Costco run. And this Saturday is our bi-weekly date night with my husband. And Sunday, I am heading over to my brother's house. We're going to do a family time there in the afternoon and stay over for dinner. And before I forget, I'm going to quickly fill in the dates. And on to the sidebar. I usually like to cover my sidebar with some scrapbook paper, so here I am just going through my scrapbook paper just to see what will match. Can you guys guess which one I went with? I'm just going to cut this scrapbook paper into size off camera. Because it is a pattern and I want it to be seamless, I'm just going to trim a few things off the paper. And I like to stick it down with double-sided tape. And I'm going to quickly trim off the excess. I do want to pull in the pattern from the scrapbook paper, so I'm just going to trim some design out from the scrapbook paper and incorporate it into my scrap, into my scrapbook, into my weekly spread. Here I'm just adding countdown stickers to my birthday from Once More With Love kit. And I'm going to finish off adding a few things onto my sidebar.
I've decided to cut more deco for this red. Once I know where I want to place them, I'm going to glue it down. I am just repunching the holes that my washi tape cover. And I got these walkie, walkie, wacky holiday sticker sheet from Once More With Love. I'm just going to place those holidays at the bottom just to make it look cute. And there you go, back into my planner. I hope you guys enjoy this mashup of the two kits. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Happy planning.